another year in the books. Happy birthday to me. Welcome back everyone. Today's video is going to be a try to get ready with me slash a Q&A because it is my birthday. I don't know exactly when this video is going up. It's probably not going to be on my actual birthday, but uh, I'm filming this on Thursday and my 37th birthday is Saturday, March 23rd. So normally on my YouTube channel, I do a Q&A each year for my birthday. So I wanted to answer some of your questions. I asked on Instagram what questions you have for me. So if you're not following me over there, I am March Beauty Word. I try to do Q&As on my Instagram like every other week or so. So I definitely do a lot more over there, but I will be pulling up some of your questions that you have while we get ready together. I'm actually getting ready to go out to one of my birthday celebrations tonight. So I just washed my hair. I have it in my rollers. I'm heading out with some friends. Uh, we are going to Resorts World tonight. It's a little like lounge bar and then also a nightclub. It's not just my birthday. It's my friend's 30th birthday. So it's like really for him. But they got me a cake too. So you know what? I'm going to go Thursday night. Catch me at the club. Because I'd be thinking I'm like 27 instead of 37, but I like to say my knees sound like they're 87, but we're gonna make it through, we're gonna make it through. Uh, but I'm gonna start off with one of my favorite products. I did just uh, post a new favorites video. I've been getting so many requests to do a new favorites video. And I mentioned in there this product that I got from Target. It's from Hero, it's their Rescue Balm Color Correcting Green Cream. Um, you can see that I am definitely dealing with a lot of acne once again. My hormone levels are all kinds of off once again. Uh, I do have PCOS so right now my main struggle is just with my acne but this green cream really does color correct the red and just makes some of the flare-ups or some of the um, like scarring and pigmentation it makes it not quite as fierce and angry looking if you will so I'm just gonna go ahead and first rub this onto those spots I am also getting ready to do a live chat with all of my members and Ashley said she would do the live chat with me. So I'm going to film this and then I'm going to head over to her place, do a live, get ready. We have some friends coming to town that I'm seeing first and then heading down to the resorts world. But to jump into the questions, this one says, what advice would you give young Samantha? Happy birthday, gorgeous. Thank you. Uh, I, of course, will link any of my products in the description box in case I'm like moving along and not mentioning anything. Again, in my favorites video, DSMD Shop, The Urban Decay, Hydromaniac. What advice would I give young Samantha? Listen, young Samantha really went through it, okay? <laughs> young Samantha didn't have the easiest of paths like so many of us. Um, so I think one thing that I would go back and tell young Samantha is like I want to say to not give up on herself and in a way I feel like I never did like I always believed in big things for myself I, I did from a young girl and I don't know if that came from like my love of reading and being really inspired by the characters that I read and the like the lives that they led very firmly believed like I would make something with my life and I would accomplish the things that I wanted to accomplish I'm always someone who has had really big goals and dreams and visions and I always could see myself getting there and doing them. But I definitely had a lot of roadblocks along the way and definitely had a lot of times where I feel like I just kind of settled in life that I was like, you know what, this is good enough. Like, I don't need to chase my dreams. I don't need to do the job that I really want to do. I don't need to live in the places where I really want to live. Like, this is good enough. This is fine enough. Like, almost kind of like telling myself like this is all you deserve like if you I, I can remember there being a point in my like mid to late 20s that I was like well if you haven't achieved what you've wanted to by now you failed so like this is what you deserve and there was definitely a time where I really did believe that and that's something that I would want to go back and tell young Samantha of even though you might not have reached certain goals or situations on the timeline that you maybe had for yourself first to not give up on them and sure maybe there are a few things that I wish that I would have done sooner or started earlier in life but um you know like I said I'm turning 37 and there's still things that I want to do and that I want to accomplish and that I hear people be like oh well if you're not in your 20s like why would you do that and I just don't believe that and I speak with so many women I have I would say, so I do like one-on-one -on -one, um, 
uh, like private calls and, and sessions with a handful of women. Um, I've been doing it for a little while now. It's not something that I talk about a whole ton just because I can't take on too many people at one time because I really need to like give my focus to, to who I'm working with at that moment. But almost everyone that I work with is in their 40s or their 50s. That's kind of like my main demographic for my one-on-ones. And when I tell you that these women inspire me so much because they don't let something like um, age or not being in your 20s or even like your early 30s, like that's not stopping them from making really big changes in their lives and really big decisions in their lives. And to feel like even like a really small part of helping to inspire them to make those changes and working with them together and seeing how they are making the changes and, and really changing their lives and finding happiness in their own different ways that they're wanting to is truly just like really incredibly inspiring to me. And so I just really try to think of like age not holding us back. So I, again, I can remember being like 26, 27 and being like, well, you didn't do it. Like you didn't, you didn't go after what you wanted to. So you might as well not even try anymore. And I wish I could go back and tell myself not to have that mindset. This next question says any fun birthday travel plans. Um, I don't really have any travel, like travel plans for my birthday. Um, I was planning originally to go to Napa. That's what I did two years ago for my birthday, but it ended up, um, it didn't work out. And then I thought about just going somewhere by myself. Like some of my friends weren't able to go. So I was like, well, maybe I'll just go somewhere by myself or with like, just like Ashley or just like Ashley and Katie or something along those lines. But again, it's my friend's 30th birthday. So I really wanted to be here, um, for his 30th and his is the day before mine. So we're just doing like a couple of fun things around Las Vegas. Like his girlfriend is one of my best friends um, and she runs the Vegas Girls events. So we always do a lot of events together and things like that. So we just have like a couple of different things planned. Um, again, tonight we have like the lounge and the club. We're going to Gatsby's, which is one of my favorite like lounge bars in Las Vegas. And then we're going to the Zook nightclub. And then um, tomorrow I actually have a dinner with some of my friends um, and then we're going to again kind of like a like a newer lounge bar that just opened in Vegas so that should be fun and then Saturday we are going to a day club so it'll be a good time we should have good weather March Madness is happening right now I actually have my computer next to me but I have it muted so I'm watching all of the um, basketball games that are going on I love March Madness it's so chaotic today is, again I'm filming this Thursday Today is just like the so chaotic and so fun. And we already had a pretty big upset, which I actually picked on my bracket. I think Duquesne, maybe, I think is how they were pronouncing it. I don't even know, but they knocked off BYU and I was like, yeah, they did. So I was pretty excited about that this morning. My friends have been getting all kinds of unhinged text messages from me. Excited for the games tonight. I'm an Iowa State girl. So hoping Iowa State gets that win tonight because they should, so. That would be pretty awesome. So yeah, so no travel plans. I am going to New Orleans the first week of April for I run an event planning company called Creators and Friends. So I will be going there. And I'm really excited to see everybody and meet everyone. And we have a few different brands that are working with us as well. So I'm excited to, um, you know, we have like some of the founders and um, of the brands coming. So it's gonna be really cool to meet everybody. So that's it. I have a girlfriend coming um, to visit me in April. Actually, Makeup Molly is coming out to visit me in Vegas. And then that's really all that I have planned so far in uh, April. Should be a good time. That's my next big trip and I've never been to Barbados. So I am very excited about that. I'm kind of showing to you my like kind of newer routine of how I cover acne. So I did my foundation. I did just concealer on the under eyes. I'm going to do my brows and then I'm going to do bronzer and blush and then I come in and start to conceal and do my powder. So it's a little bit different of how I used to do it, um, but I wanted to be able to show you how I do this. Again, I mentioned this in my favorites, the Natasha Denona Hyper Natural Face Palette. And I said how much I love the bronzer in here, especially like it just is, I don't know. It's just so natural. It's going to be a little bit hard to apply with my rollers in, but it just looks so natural and beautiful on the skin. I just love it so much. Another question is, what was the best lesson that you learned in the past year? <laughs> okay. Um, whew, okay. 
Um, you know, 36 was not my favorite uh, year. <laughs> That's for sure. Um, you know, obviously just the biggest thing being that my dog passed away. Um, also, my apartment got broken into. I had a bunch of stuff stolen from me. So that was very interesting as well. Um, so I'm trying to think like something along those lines of like a good lesson that I took out of there. But I think it's going to be a little bit hard for me to touch on this without crying because I, I cry about my dog every time I try to talk about her. But And I don't even know if it's like a lesson so much, but just something that I learned about myself is definitely like how much, I think it's going to sound weird, but like how much I loved my dog and how much I would have done anything for her um you know i was talking to a friend uh actually just yesterday and we were talking about like summer season coming up and day clubs and pools and all those things and i was like i'm just really curious to experience this summer because last summer i basically didn't leave my apartment i went to my my pool that's literally steps away from me one time um because i just would not leave aries um and i think that it really I, I guess in a weird way, I feel like since my divorce, I feel very like, I don't want to say emotionless because that's obviously not true because I cry all the time. So I clearly have emotions, but I definitely have felt since the divorce and really even like a couple years before it, just that like, like a very closed off, um, like I describe myself as cold often of course like not not when it came to my dog like it was never like I didn't like her or anything it was just kind of like my whole demeanor kind of felt that way and I feel like with Aries cancer battle and like putting so much into her and just loving her so much and trying to give her the best you know final five months of her life after she was diagnosed I feel like it almost like softened me just a little bit and it made me like open myself up a little or at least started to open myself up a little bit more um to other people even to like my friends that are in my friend group that i you know have been trying to get to know as an adult and make friendships as an adult i feel like during that time um i finally maybe i think what i'm trying to say is that it made me rely on other people and i don't normally do that i don't like to rely on people i don't like to ask for help um i always feel like i'm a burden which is a you know trauma from past relationships and it's something that i've tried working through like in therapy and all the things but i feel like with aries cancer battle it finally made me be like okay i do need help um you know there would be like i really even hate it going to the grocery store i hate it leaving her because i was always so afraid something was gonna happen um, and I really came to rely on my friendships and my family. My family came out here to help me. Like, I really allowed myself to rely on other people because I didn't know how to do it all by myself, you know? If that's like a lesson that I learned, it was that I can, I don't have to be so fiercely independent all the time. <laughs> I can rely on others to help and those that I do rely on, they don't see me as a burden and that people are happy to help their friends as well. Just like me, one of the biggest ways of like my love language is acts of service. Like I love doing anything for my friends, any way that I can help them, I wanna do that. And a lot of my friends are the same way. So it's like, I have to stop thinking that I'm just burdening everybody when I need help because a lot of times they, that's like how they want to, you know, show their love. So yeah, I guess I would say maybe that. That was a big lesson. <laughs> Next question is, will you call Vegas home forever or do you have anywhere else in mind? I love you. Thank you, love you. Um, for right now, yeah, Vegas is going to be my home for a while. Like I don't see myself moving anywhere else. There's nowhere else that I have in mind. Um, I really love Las Vegas. I love the friendships that I've made. I love the job opportunities that it's given me here. Um, it's been so much fun. So. As of right now, I don't have any plans of moving anywhere else. I'll, I'll never say never. And I mean, I guess I'll, I never know what will come up. But as of right now, Vegas is going to be home.
question is what is one birthday wish you want to work on and make a reality that's a good question i haven't thought of any like birthday wishes yet um okay so i'm gonna go into like covering acne so first i'm gonna use a um sticky more of like a sticky primer this one is from elf this is actually when i got my makeup done professionally not too long ago this was the one that she used I'm just kind of dotting that over any places that I want to cover. So yeah, I haven't really thought of any birthday wishes. I think one big thing for me, this is something I've literally talked about for so long. You guys are probably like jeepers, you're talking about that again. But I just would like to feel a little bit more like settled with my career. I just really feel like I don't know what I'm doing these days or what I want to do or what's calling to me the most or I just kind of feel like every day I'm going through the motions and I don't love that feeling like I I I, I love all the different things that I do like I, I met a few new people yesterday uh, actually and when they were like you, we can just tell that you love what you do and you have such a passion about it and the way that you talk about it I, I actually was with YouTube and you know they're like we can tell that you you know you love it so much and you've been able to talk for like three hours about how much you love YouTube and your community and making videos and talking with people and all these things but I just I still feel like I still just don't feel like like I just feel like I'm like doing something wrong like constantly um, and I even told like the YouTube team yesterday, I was like, I just like don't understand because I do all the things that you tell me to do and then like nothing happens. And then I think I just keep getting so frustrated that it just makes me not want to try. And then I get frustrated with myself because I'm like, well, you can't expect to see results if you're not trying, but it's like, but I've been trying for so long. So I don't know. It's just kind of one of like those things that it just makes me feel very confused on like what I want to actually do with this career or if I want to go because before I started like YouTube and really getting into social media I would publish a book every single year and now it's like every other year and you know I mean that really kind of happened when I was going through a lot of my like personal struggles with infertility and then the divorce and the move and all of those things but now it's like the social media part can keep me so busy but is that what I want to keep me busy do I want to go back to being able to write at least one book a year um, if not even more, do I want to go more into event planning? Do I want to stop doing content creation? Like I just I don't I just I just feel like I don't know what I want to do It's been like one of the first times again I've been feeling it for a while, but it's been the first time since starting this career in 2009 that I've felt this way And I'm just like I just feel confused every day. Like, I just don't know what to do so my birthday wish would be to figure that out because I mean, obviously this is what I do like all day long is I work, you know, when people are like, when do you like take time for yourself? Because even when you see me doing the events and stuff, that's typically always for work or we're having to make videos for not have to, but like we agree um, that we're making videos for a restaurant or for a, a lounge or for a hotel or something along those lines. So then I have to come home and I have to, you know, to be filming the whole time Then I have to come home and I have to make the videos. Um, put them up send you know all those things that go into that so it might like look like fun from the outside but the majority of time it is also me working um, which is like so fun that that's a job like don't get me wrong I'm not saying like anything about that I'm just trying to figure out what makes me the most like fulfilled and happy so that's something that I want to try to figure out so I'm using the Too Faced Born This Way concealer again mentioned this in my favorites and this is in light beige and after I kind of let the sticky base, um, the sticky primer kind of settle in for a little bit, then I come in with the concealer and I put that right on top. And this has helped my makeup stay. Like my makeup stays, I, like the routine that I just showed you, I have a couple new products that I want to try. I did a PR haul recently and I got new foundation and concealer from Makeup by Mario. And I do want to do a get ready with me and start trying those out, but I don't really want to do it the night of my birthday party. <laughs> So and just in case like it doesn't work out and it's going to be a very long night and all of the things like I just don't want my makeup to not be like looking good. Um, so I just kind of tap it in like so and then wait a little bit and then I come in with my powder. The question is what would be your birthday gift to yourself? That's a good question. I actually hadn't planned on buying myself anything. Hmm. What would be my birthday gift to myself? I feel like right now it would be like a spa day. My neck is 
killing me again because i work so much on my phone i feel like my head is always down but this morning when i woke up i literally was having like the pains that were like shooting up my neck i was like okay that's it's not great so i keep trying to do like stretches today but my neck hurts so bad and i feel like like a spa day would be really fun i mean again like i i do a lot of those around here but it's Sometimes, like, when you see the spa days that I post online, it's literally us, like, <laughs> so I'll just tell you. So, this one time when we were working with the spa, uh, we went and they were like, okay, now we want you to, like, be in the hot tub. So, we jumped in the hot tub for, like, three minutes while they shot everything. And then they were like, okay, now come into this sauna. And so, we went into the sauna and we sat there for literally, like, a minute. They were like, great, now, Samantha, go in the cold plunge pool. So I went in the cold plunge and I like get down and they're like, okay, you can come out. I was like, no, I'm staying in this cold plunge for at least three minutes. Like I'm getting the benefits of this cold plunge. And so I stayed in there and then they were like, okay, time for your massages. And we were like, yes, massages. It was all fake. Like literally, like we had the people come in. I had a swimsuit on. I literally just pulled my straps down. They acted like they massaged us for like an hour while they were shooting for their, for their content. And they were like, okay, you guys can go. We were like, can we stay and use the spa? They're like, no. You can go down. I was like, okay, okay, great. So some, you might be like, she's at the spa all the time. <laughs> Can't always believe everything on social media. Um, so yeah, that happens a lot. So I haven't had like a real like spa spa day in a minute and that would be fun. Um, I used the Laura Mercier pow powder, the translucent powder. Again, this is like all the steps that the makeup artist did when she was working on me and then I am just gonna go ahead and set everything and then towards the end I'll do any touch-ups with like bronzer and blush that I feel like I need to do but I just use this powder set everything and then my makeup will be staying through a day club on a Thursday night just what I love doing I don't think I'm gonna stay very long though because sounds like a long day okay bada bing bada boom and that is how i cover my acne uh let's see what would be what would you do as a tribute to aries now that she's not here on your birthday oh um well i'm probably gonna cry <laughs> so there's that um but one thing is uh i do feel like i've been kind of struggling as my birthday gets closer and it is my first birthday without her so I can kind of sense like my anxiety working. So, um, you know, I'm glad that we have plans with friends and we'll be able to, to, to be with them on Saturday for sure, because it's definitely going to be hard without her. Um, I am going to do my, uh, my lip gloss. Um, I'll do it in today's video too, but um, when I did my collab with Ofra Cosmetics, um, I did three glosses and there's Peony, which is after my favorite flower, Millie, which is actually after my grandmother. And then um, the other shade that I created is named Queen, which is my nickname for Aries. And that's why I have the crown tattoo on my arm here. I got it after she passed. And I made that one kind of like this like coppery color with a bunch of shimmer in it to kind of be like matching like her coat and everything. So I've been wearing Queen like all of this week and I said something on my Instagram about it because I did like a lip combo video and so many of you said that you were going to wear Queen on Saturday too. So yeah, I don't know if this video will go up on Saturday or it might be Sunday, but if you have Queen, wear your Queen gloss in honor of Aries. Uh, I am going to spray with MAC Fix Plus real quick. Next question is, are you dating any hot football players? You know what? I think the time has finally come for me to tell you. I'm not dating any hot football players. No, no, I'm not. Um, still a goal, still on the vision board, still there, especially because that's my mom would be thrilled. Mom March would be thrilled if I was dating, especially a hot football player, really, just football player, I think in general, but a hot football player. Um, but no, we're still working on that manifestation for right now. For my eyes, I'm actually gonna use the Odin's Eye and Annette's Makeup Corner palette um, because I, my outfit for tonight is like orange and sparkly. 
so I bought a little outfit from Amazon, um, but like orange and red are like Aries colors. I wear red all of the time, so when I saw orange, I was like, oh, that's kind of fun and different, and they didn't have it in red, because I probably would have ordered it in red if they did. But the orange, I was like, oh, okay, that'll be cool. And I really love the shade Glow Vortex, and it has like an orangey tone to it, but then I'm also thinking of doing um, Midgard Gleam first, and then doing a little Glow Vortex on top. That's my plan. That's what I'm, that's, yeah. We're gonna try that first and see if it comes together like how I hope that it will come together. So from Sigma, I'm just using an E54. I'm gonna use my Sigma switch real quick. Sigma is having their really big, um, I think they do it annually, their spring sale that they do. You can get up to 75% off online. I think the code is just spring. I love my Sigma switch. I highly recommend just clean off my brushes real quick. So I'm gonna go in with the shimmer shades first and then decide like what mattes I wanna use just to kind of see. Oh, this, yeah, that's fun. Okay, and that matches my outfit so well. Oh, wee! Oh, I just instantly got happy because I was thinking about using a Super Shock from ColourPop and I wanna say it was literally called like Creamsicle or something along those lines, but I don't have it. It wasn't even in my declutter pile. I was like, I wonder if I, I probably gave it to somebody, but um, I was like, that would be perfect to wear with my outfit tonight. But this, and then I was like, wait, Annette's palette. So this a shadow, so pretty. I want to see it with the glow vortex on top too. Oh, girl. What is something you haven't done in Vegas yet that you would like to do? Good question. When I first moved here, I wanted to make a Vegas bucket list. I love bucket lists. If you read the six series, you know that like part of their journey conversations as they make a, a bucket list babes bucket list um so i love i should make a bucket list for this summer that's what i should do oh that's what i should do um you know i want to get to every freaking casino on the strip i haven't been into a handful of them and i've been trying to make it a point that like if i'm by one of them that i haven't been in of being like hey can we just stop in really quick like i just want to see it um that sort of thing um, like, because I think it was just a few months ago, I finally got into New York, New York for the first time. And I was like, this place is a bop. Like, it literally kind of looks, you know, a little bit like New York inside. Like, I get the vibes they're going for. So I want to make it into every casino on the strip. I've been to most of them. I've been to most, but not to all. This year is going to be the year that I do it. I would love to also stay everywhere. Like, I would love to have a staycation everywhere. I would love to film. Oh my gosh. I would love to film a staycation at every single casino resort on the Strip and on Fremont. Oh, heck yeah. Fremont Street, probably even more, honestly. Such a mood down there. I was just down there the other night. Why was I there? Oh, for St. Patrick's Day. We were on Fremont Street. Vibes. Like, I would rather be there than the Strip, for sure. This next one is tips on being confident. You seem so confident and sure of yourself. Oh, wee That's funny because I actually feel very opposite of that so thank you for saying that that means a lot um i'm gonna do some of that glow vortex on top and just kind of see oh yeah that's a fun oh this is oh see that adds in like a little bit with orange as well because the first shadow like has a little bit of gold to it and then this one is kind of making it a little bit more on that like cream sickly side if you will Oh, this is fun though with the orange and the gold. This feels like a total Aries eye look right now. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Tips on being confident. I would say fake it till you make it. <laughs> One of those things. Um, I struggle a lot with my social anxiety. It's really hard for me to go places by myself. Um, it's really hard for me to walk up to people by myself but i've been getting more into like event planning hosting some of these events with vegas girls events doing my own events um traveling with some of the sam squad and that sort of thing and it's like you know i have to be the one to be having these you know starting the conversations or making them or keeping them going or introducing myself yesterday i was asked to present actually to a brand with youtube which was a very wild thing i was terrified to do it but i'll tell you like somehow i was able to walk into that room and i was like i literally was telling myself beforehand and i was telling myself all night long of like you got this you know what you're doing you know what you're talking about 
this is like what you love to talk about like i just kept telling myself over and over and over again like you got this you got this you got this you don't have to be nervous you don't have to be in your own head vision like i literally would like visualize myself like absolutely crushing this presentation which i did and that's just what i kept telling myself over and over so that's something that when i go to go into these events is i tell myself like we have an event tonight and i'm nervous about it and especially because it's like it's our work event but it's also like half my birthday party i'm like i know people are going to be coming up to me or looking to me or i'm gonna have to be like walking around and just telling myself that like you got this like and calm down like that's one of the biggest things i always have to tell myself is like you just need to calm down everything's gonna be fine like and stop just getting in my own head and stop getting in my own way um i think just it, i i feel like it's not even anything outwardly confidence wise because like my skin does definitely doesn't make me feel confident you know i struggled with my weight when i was really having some uh, bad pcos symptoms as well that definitely didn't make me confident on the outside but for me it's all about the inner part inside it's really about talking to it sounds weird but talking to myself and building myself up all internally i think that's where my confidence comes from is like being my own biggest cheerleader and knowing that i'm always telling myself like you got this you got this you got this i think that's probably what helps me the most i'm liking this eye look so much i don't think that there's a lot with the mats that i want to do um where do you see yourself in five years i'll be 42 in five years okay that's a little it's a little intimidating to think about um where do i see myself well i i hope that i have figured out some of these 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 questions that i have i'm gonna do just a little bit of this first mat here just a little bit in my crease just because i can't help myself but again just a little bit i think the shimmers are really like gonna steal the show for this look but yeah i hope i figured out some of the answers to like my career questions and all of those things like i hope i'm still really happy with whatever it is that i've decided i want to do or whatever path that i'm taking i hope that i'm still traveling a ton um like i hope i'm still able to go on so many trips for sure um i really just i guess sometimes it's kind of hard for me to think about because i used to be someone that would think so much into the future and i think with everything the last few years literally starting from the pandemic infertility divorce move losing my dog even something like the break-in and how that changed and i had to move apartments so fast is that like i kind of prefer to just be in the moment right now which maybe sounds like a little weird but like i never know where the next plot twist is going to be i never know like either what opportunity is going to come up or what you know what hardship is going to come my way but i think that i've been able to show myself over the years that no matter whether it's something that's really good or if it's something that's more negative like i'll always be able to get through it and come out the other side i think that's one of the biggest things that i try to show with my social media is like no matter what it is that you're going through, like you're gonna come out on the other side. It might not be right away. That's why a lot of my books don't necessarily have happy endings because to me it's like, I know it's like a book and it's different and like it has an ending, but like life doesn't. Like life doesn't end when you found your man and got married. Like that's not, that's not the end, you know? Life doesn't end when you lose your job but then you find an even better job, it's not the end. That's why like a lot of my books don't have those happy endings because it's just like a continuation of life of like, okay, these really good things happen, these bad things happen, this is how I bounce back from it, this is how I celebrate the good times. It's just life, right? Like I just try to write like reality. But I would just go back to saying that I just hope that I'm happy and I hope that I'm continuing to make myself happy. And then yeah, that's like another like lesson that I've learned is I think there's been so many times in life that I've been like, oh, like someone else can make me happy or some sort of external validation can make me happy, that sort of thing. Like I hope I continue to really make myself happy. I'm gonna use my L'Oreal liner and I'm gonna do my waterline a little bit below and then uh, tight line as well. But then I'm gonna do some on my lash line and also wing it out because I can't my makeup without doing a wing lately these days this next one is favorite moment from 36 and i already started to cry <laughs> number one goal for 37 <laughs> cheapers my favorite moment from 36 was celebrating aries birthday I did not think that she was going to make it to 
her 10th birthday, but she did. And I was so, so happy to be able to have one more birthday with her. Um, she passed about, what, two weeks later? So, you know, she was already kind of having a hard time. My apartment had already been broken into, so we were actually living with um, my friend Ashley at the time and her husband, but we had a party for her and I bought her all kinds of things and treats. And you know, it's Vegas, so they like come out with the bottles. Like I had like, <laughs> I had like bottles and I was like dancing for her. Like I was like a Vegas bottle girl. Um, and all my friends were there and and I'm just really glad that I got that last birthday with her for sure. Uh, okay, well, I'm gonna try to do my eyeliner again. Um, but a goal for 37. Okay, so I've mentioned like work stuff, you know, definitely traveling. I think a goal of mine is to continue to try to be more open as I hit my ring light. To try to be like more, like not as closed off as I have been over the last few years. And to like expand my friendships. I've been trying to like get back into the dating world because I haven't really dated since the divorce either. But again, I just feel like very closed off and I'm sure it's, it's not easy to date me right now because, <laughs> because I have like my guard up and all those things. But like, I, I would like to at least try. I'd like to at least try to again, kind of start to let my guard down and just appreciate life without I don't know if I want to say without waiting for the other shoe to drop but I talked in I think it was my members chat about like intrusive thoughts and all those things and I want to try to get past those and not think like oh just because life is going good um you know when's the next bad thing that's going to happen and and different things like that like I want to be in the moment enjoy the moment when good times are good just enjoy the good times because there will always be bad times in life like it's always you can't prevent it it's going to happen but enjoy the good times while they're here get through the bad times when they happen um yeah i guess that would be some of my goals for this year what is your favorite part about aging good question um you know i don't i guess i would just say that like i do think that with each year in a way i do become more confident in myself um because with each year i mean like you're always learning things you're always learning new things about you or about life um and i can definitely see that over the years and sure i, I had a few years there where like i was definitely knocked down and, and all of those things but now getting through them i can see i can see all those those lessons that i did learn and you do get wiser <laughs> with age for sure that's something that i think that is so great and something to be grateful for. I'm not a big birthday girl as in like celebrating. I, cause again, it goes back to like, I feel bad. I feel like I make people have to do things for my birthday or like, it's my birthday. You have to come out to eat or you have to come to the club or you have to like, feel like you have to like get me something or things like that. I think that's why I don't particularly love my birthday because I feel like I'm, even though I'm not like, I, I truly like, I, I don't need to do anything for my birthday. I'm happy to just like sit and be with my friends, literally sitting at a house watching March Madness games, like would make me so, so happy. I am grateful for birthdays and the fact that not everyone gets their next birthday. You know what I mean? And even though it's, it can be challenging as you get older and especially as you work in a social media space and it seems like the young are, you know, definitely the favored and all of those things. Um, I still feel really grateful for every, next birthday that i'm able to have next question is i know you previously did fertility treatments any chance you would do it without a husband no <laughs> no i don't think i'll ever i could ever do that again um i i, I mean i've said it before I'll, I'll i'll always say it but i have so much respect for the women that can do it and do it for a prolonged period of time do it for multiple times um that was one of the hardest things i've ever gone through and i know that i haven't really talked about it a whole lot online just because I don't know if I want to say the word traumatizing, but kind of, um, just that whole, that whole timeline, that whole everything. I hope I'm never in a place that low again. And I, I hate, I, I think one of the reasons why I don't want to talk about my experience with fertility is because I don't want to, 
And again, everyone has to make their own decisions. Just because I say something is really hard doesn't mean someone then shouldn't do it. But I, I would hate to like deter women from, from like wanting to give it a chance type thing. And it's like, I'm not saying that I have that much like power or influence over people, but I, I just would hate that someone would be like, I really want to try it. But Samantha Marsh said it was terrible. Like you have to make your own decisions and obviously pursue the path that you want to pursue. But I think it's a reason why I don't want to talk about it is because I don't want to be so negative about it. But that was one of the worst experiences of my life. <laughs> Only just the actual fertility. And like, this is what I want to be clear on too. But then of course it's like, then I don't want to talk about it too much because I don't want to go into too much personal detail. But not only was it the fertility treatments that were hard on me, but everything else that was happening in my personal life while at the same time was just too much. Like it was, it was too much. Um, I never want to be in that place mentally again. Um, you know, I tried to hide it the best I could when I came online and I know a lot of people could see through it. And, you know, it's funny because like the Vegas retreat that I did, there were so many women that said to me, you know, like we could see it, like we could see how much you were struggling. We could see how unhappy you were, but you weren't saying anything at the time. And, you know, we didn't want to ask and press and all those things, which I appreciate it because there's definitely people that did. You know, there got to be a point where I stopped wearing my wedding ring and then it was like, why are you not wearing your wedding ring? It's like, well, why do you think? Like, <laughs> we really got to ask, like, you know, and it, it just was like so overwhelming. And like, I, it got to the point where like, I put my wedding ring back on just so I wouldn't have to watch the comments. And it was every day I put my wedding ring back on just for the internet, like killed a piece of my soul too. So it's just like the hard part of living your life in the public eye and that sort of thing. Um, to me, I don't know why people want to do it. <laughs> like I've talked before about like, if I didn't start this career, don't I? I definitely would not because it's just, it's it's a lot, a lot on your like mental health too. But uh, yeah, I, 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 I would not, I would not want to do that again. Um, I am someone who never really had like a deep hankering to become a mother or to be pregnant. Um, I kind of always have just wanted to travel the world and be a free spirit and I fell in love when I was very young and you know wanted to stay committed to that and you know I decided to get married and I really wanted to give my marriage my all and I know that I did. Um, I, I know that I literally gave every single piece of my body, heart, and soul into my marriage but now you know being single and obviously like getting older and all of those things um i don't think being a mother is in the cards for me you know something could change who knows i could meet someone tonight hey hey i could meet someone tonight and be like all i want to do is have your baby start like i don't know things could happen um but at this like moment in time i just i don't see it happening for me and i'm very uh at peace with that so i am just applying the rare beauty mascara oh this question goes along with kind of goes along with that of do you have a man in your life listen i have many men in my life no i'm just kidding i'm just playing with you i'm just playing with you um uh no i am currently single I'm trying to figure out how to put mascara on with my big roller right here um but i am still a single girl living her best life so no one man at this moment all right another question besides the six what other writing goals do you have this has been a goal of mine for a while but i would really love to write more a non-fiction book i'm just grabbing my lip liner it's been a goal of mine for a while but i would really love to write a non-fiction book um I don't read a ton of like personal development, but I like to sprinkle it in here and there, mostly because the books that I read are for my blog. So I'm always like reading so much that I've been asked by like the authors or the publishing houses, agents, things like that. Reading so much of those, I don't really have a lot of time to read just like what I pick on my own, if that makes sense. Um, but when I do, I do like to grab you know, some sort of personal, but like one of the last ones I read was about like staying organized because that's always something that's really hard for me and living like a clutter-free life and all these things. Um, but I would really love to write something like that. I think it would be an interesting challenge for me because I'm so used to writing characters um, that, and I, I know a lot of people write them about their own lives. I don't necessarily know if I know what direction I would want to take the book, but I think writing something like that would be pretty fun. Um, I'm going to use the Hard Candy Lip Liner in First Move. Mentioned this in my favorites video. Okay, and then I'm, sorry, I'm trying to get through as many questions as I can. How are you doing? I'm 
okay. I'm good. I am good. I, again, just feeling sad. Aries not here for my birthday, but I have some really cool things that I'm doing for my birthday. And my friends have made me feel really, really special. Um, like this whole like dinner and lounge that we have for Friday night is so, so special. Like the amount of thought that my friend put into this is, is really very cool and makes my cold dead heart feel a little bit warmer. <laughs> Um, and then even like tonight, like my friend, um, posted on Instagram, my friend who it's her boyfriend's the 30th birthday. She got us both cakes tonight, um, which I thought was really cool. Like she didn't have to get like a cake for me. Like she could have just gotten one for her man, but like she also got one for me. I was like, that's really sweet. Um, and then like planning stuff on Saturday, like I just, I, I have such a special group of friends that make me feel really special. And let's play a drinking game when I say special because I'm gonna say how special that is. <laughs> um, but no, it's it's very nice. It's, it's I almost want to say like it's just a very humbling feeling because um, I'm definitely someone who's really struggled with like friendship and love over the years. So to feel so much love, like our St. Patrick's Day was so much fun. I literally could not believe how much fun I had on St. Patrick's Day. It was the best time. Like, I literally, I watched, I made, like, a little video, um, you know, vlog of our day, and I put it on Instagram. I watch it every single day because it brings me so much joy. Like, seeing, and it's me recording, so it's, like, all of my friends just have, like, I'm in there for, like, a couple of clips, but it's, like, my friends are just having such a fun time, and I'm just, like, it just makes me so happy to watch it. So, yeah. So, I'm doing good. I think it'll be better once I get past my birthday and, like, the sadness, but there's that. Um, I'm going to use my gloss with Ofra. This is in Queen. This is actually a fresh gloss here. But this is available on the Ofra Cosmetics website. You can use my discount code Samantha. You can buy it as a single or you can also buy it in the set with Millie and Peony. Oh, we're going for this like orange, coppery, sparkly, shimmer mood tonight. So I thought it would be the perfect gloss to wear. And if you wear your gloss on Saturday or... Really, anytime during airy season, please tag me, March Beauty Word. I would love to repost you and see you wearing it. That means so much. It means so much to me. All right, so now we get to take these rollers out. I really need to like check in on March Madness, see what's going on. Um, but another question is, how did you get those abs? <laughs> Thank you. I get a lot of questions on my abs especially um which is so nice thank you so much for for noticing um i do want to make some full videos talking a little bit more in depth about like losing the i gained 30 pounds in three months um right before i was you know diagnosed with pcos and one thing that i'll say is that when i started talking about like the changes that i was making with my health um there was definitely a lot of like pushback with it, especially because I did do a more natural route and it took me a long time. Like healing your hormones naturally and things like that um, typically takes longer than, you know, fixing with a band-aid or something. But I was really intent on doing it in my own way, in my own time. And so when I would talk about it and when I would talk about how like my brain fog was going away and I wasn't as like exhausted all of the time, I wasn't leaving my patio door open when I went to sleep at night, um, people were still like, yeah, no, you're just like crunchy now and don't believe in science. And I'm like, okay. Um, but now it's very interesting to me is because I've lost the weight. Now more and more people want to know what it is that I did. And I'm not saying that's what this question is. Like I, I firmly believe like the people that are sending me in questions are like my, my genuine people. Or like the things that I, you know, get to see about myself online or people are like, oh my gosh, I read this about you online. I was like, okay, great. So that's what I mean. But um, I have definitely gotten a lot more questions about like my workouts, um, especially like my abs in, in general. Um, I will say that my main thing that I do is walk. I walk all day long. I walk, um, my goal now is 15,000 steps a day. I'm usually getting anywhere between 17 and 20,000 steps. Um, you know, I, I take a lot of meetings and some meetings I are just by phone and I can do that when I'm on my walks, which is so great for me. Sometimes I'll even, if it's just like a casual Zoom meeting, um, 
you know, not with like a brand or like, you know, things like that. Um, I, I'll take them on my walks as well and I'll just, you know, just have the outside in the background, that sort of thing. Here's the hair. I was thinking about maybe putting it up like half and half, but I'm not sure. Maybe I might do something like that. So walking to me has been one of the biggest things and I love it. I love being outside. I get up and I, first thing that I do, I literally, I get up, I splash water in my face, I tongue scrape, I brush my teeth, I put sunscreen on and I get outside immediately because if I start like working or doing anything else I'll get so focused on that I'll forget. I usually can walk n like nearly five miles in the morning um, and that's just a part of my morning routine and like I'm catching up on emails and DMs and things like that often I'm like posting a video or I'm editing a reel or something so I'm, I'm working while I'm walking but I, I like to get a nice long walk in right away. I usually walk after lunch and then after dinner as well so kind of like after I eat I like to walk because it helps with my digestion um, but I also really still love yoga. I've always been a yoga girl. I've always talked about my love for yoga and um, Recently as well like the last couple of years I really love reformer Pilates and we have some reformer Pilates machines at uh, The gym at the complex where I live so I use the reformer machines as well I do also follow cycle syncing which I am going to be making a video about that and just kind of the different uh, workouts that I do at different phases of my cycle and why I think and you can probably see in my body that it's been um, very beneficial to me to be able to work with my cycle then versus like against it and thinking you know having my period is like the worst thing in the world so I've definitely made a lot of changes like that over the last couple of years um, since the PCOS diagnosis and I'm excited to talk about it more and you know one thing like sometimes it makes me a little bit sad that I'm that I get asked so much about my changes because you can see it physically on my body now but i also figure if people are curious now and you're able to see it physically on me i'm going to try to talk to about it and try to get as much information out there as i can and encourage you to do your own research and maybe something that worked for me might work for you as well so people didn't seem too interested in it when i was first going through it and i was you know trying to figure things out and it was kind of like trial and error, but now that we've gotten here um, and people are curious, I really want to talk about it and just talk about my journey more because it really did change a lot of things for me and I'm very happy with where I'm at right now. I feel strong once again. I feel in control of my body. I feel good. I can go out and eat what I want to eat once again. Um, food is like not the enemy anymore like it was when I was getting sick all the time and I was always bloated and that sort of thing. So I am excited to talk about that more. It is now two o'clock, so I'll finish on this last one. You've had a really rough last year, but what are you most grateful for? There is a lot that I am grateful for. Um, you know, especially over the last year, like I've touched on, like really being able to see how special my friendships were to me, um, really starting to feel like a little bit more settled in Las Vegas, getting a lot of these opportunities and with these work opportunities and working along with my friends, like the group of us that are working together tonight, like how surreal that I get to work with so many of like my favorite people. How cool is that? You know what I mean? Like I'm so grateful for that. I'm so grateful that I still have a community that supports me even as I come on camera and I'm like, I don't know what I'm doing and I don't know what I want to do. And I went through so many low moments in time where I know I lost a lot of followers because they didn't like that I was sad and then I know I've lost followers because they don't like that I post about Vegas and not just about beauty reviews but I've had so many people stick with me as I literally have grown up online like I started my blog when I was like 21 years old like or 22 I can't remember like I've literally spent the majority of my adult years living my life online. So to know that I still have a community that's that's growing, I have new people coming in, but that also I have so many of you that have still continued to stick around is one thing that I'm so grateful for. And I know that I've had so many of these opportunities and that also I've been able to take control of my life, that I was able to leave my marriage, that I was able to start over in Las Vegas. I was able to do that because of this career and because of so much of your support, buying through my affiliate links, buying my collabs, buying my books, sharing my work, talking to your friends about me, sharing my videos, that sort of thing. That has all been what's given me this life and there's no way that I can never not be grateful for that. So thank you so much, whether you're a newer subscriber or you've been here for a while, you have changed my life in every single way and I will be forever grateful for that. So 
This is my final look for my birthday. I need to um, pack up my bag, head over to Ashley's. We were doing the live chat today and then I'm off to celebrate my birthday. So thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed seeing this chatty get ready with me and I'll see you in the next one.